hey guys welcome back to my channel so today is a quick declutter video as you can see this is my perfume setup going on here if you want to see my mini perfume collection i also have that up these are just a few of them so the way i've chosen to organize my cabinet is just the top ones are mostly celebrity scents and they're just my quick fruity everyday kind of scents my easy reach this is another shelf. These are like my fragrances that I'd probably reach for for a date in the day or brunch and just my sophisticated fragrances as well. And then the other shelf is my nighttime date fragrances. Then it goes all the way down to my summertime fragrances and my freshies. A few of these are definitely going to be on the chopping block tonight. And if you want to see which ones they are, stay tuned. So as you can see, the first fragrance there is Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. I mentioned this slightly in my last declutter video that I was hanging on to it for a little bit and I'm going to try it out and decide whether I'm going to keep it or not. And I decided to mention it first because I've definitely decided that I just do not like it. I am not sure how anyone says that they don't smell the garden in this because to me it smells green. I know a lot of people complain about how Flora Botanica smells like bush, <laughs> but to me this more smells like bush. This one literally smells like a freshly cut lawn. Whereas to me Flora Botanica smells like when it's just rained on a freshly cut garden, a garden that's been pruned and the water is still on the flowers and everything. To me, that's what that smells like. It has a little bit of sweetness in that. For me, this one, People say that they smell the coconut. Yes, I now get the coconut, which I didn't get when I initially sprayed it and smelled it and I didn't fall in love with it because it was a blind buy, but I decided to keep it. And now I smell the coconut, but for some reason, this does not smell like creamy coconut to me. This smells like coconut trash. And when I say trash, I literally mean the outside. If you've ever actually had a raw coconut in front of you, picked it off the tree and they took the green off of it and it's just got that brown trash, that's what it smells like to me. Yeah, it's like grated coconut trash. As you can see, I definitely have given it a chance. It does have a little bit of a dent in there. I would say quite an impressive dent for a fragrance that I don't like, especially having so many. But I have been trying to layer this with other fragrances. I've been wearing it to bed. I've been wearing it with other lotions or body creams just to see if maybe will improve the coconut in there. The next fragrance I'm getting rid of is La Femme by Armoff. I do like this fragrance, but I don't find myself reaching for it. It's very potent, but I don't feel like it really lasts super long or anything. But I mean, it is a cheap fragrance. But on the shelf that I have with all my celebrity scents, I find that I have just a lot of fruity fragrances and they all kind of smell similar to me. Yes, I can smell all the differences in them, but they're not different enough. I don't even find myself reaching for it to use it. At least on my shelf, the other celebrity fragrances that I do have, I reach for them at least after I shower or if I'm just running to the shop, but I don't even find myself reaching for it for this one. So this one is gonna get the chopping board. If the next fragrance I'm getting rid of is Unisex by Jeremy Fragrance. Do not get this confused with Day by Jeremy Fragrance, which I said that I like and I have been using a lot. This one smells like a woman's fragrance and a man's fragrance mixed together. For me, that masculine aspect to it, the underneath bit that smells like cologne is too potent. And for me, I just don't feel like a guy would like to smell this on a woman. It smells too strong for me. Some women even wear Sauvage by Dior. That's crazy to me. So I believe that they would really like this. I think that's the aspect that he probably was going for. If he was doing unisex, he was gonna make it all out unisex it has that very sweet fruity note in it and it has that very cologne smell and it reminds me of ultra male it reminds me of that other fragrance by jean paul gaultier in the bottle with the man and the stripes across it but to me even that one smells a little bit more sweeter and i feel like i would get away with wearing that over this one so for that reason a matter of fact this is already sold i got a bid on it on ebay today and this is out but I just want to be very clear that this is a nice fragrance. Like the next fragrance that is getting the chalk is Versace Crystal Noir. And it's not because I don't like it. For me, it's just because it just doesn't smell as strong as it first smelled when I first bought it. To me, I feel like 
it just smells really watered down. In my first review of it, I remember saying that it smells like an alcoholic drink and it's so deep and dark and I'm like, what were you smelling? But clearly because I was new to fragrances, I feel like maybe it smelled more potent to me because I had never bought anything that wasn't fruity or like super feminine and fresh. And because this doesn't have that sweet vibe to it, it's not fruity or anything like that. I think I was getting this sex appeal from it. And now after smelling so many other fragrances and being introduced to ouds and things of that nature, I don't feel like this is sexy enough. And I actually feel like it just comes off powdery to me on my skin. It doesn't project. I don't smell it. I don't get compliments. Those two strikes are very important to me. So I just have not been reaching for it. It has a little smidgen of a dent. A little something something. I was trying to work on it to see what I thought. But after wearing it a few times to work, I realized that this literally just smells like powder to me. The last thing I'm getting rid of is, no, this is not the actual Baccarat Rouge Eau de Parfum. This is just the body oil. The body oil doesn't make a difference. I was excited when I first got it and I wanted to feel bougie going to bed, rubbing, you know, nice body oil on me and everything. I enjoy my Coco Mad oil. I'm not really getting the same vibe from this. And I don't even think it makes a difference when paired with the perfume. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to let this go. I would really love to have my perfumes down to like 15 fragrances or 10 to 15 fragrances and start again. Not because I hate my collection or anything because I have been looking at it and I really out that there are many more that I might declutter. Majority of my collection now I am happy with them but I can't say that there are a lot in there that I would repurchase. That's another crazy thing. I can only count about three perfumes that I definitely would repurchase if they ran out and that's crazy to have like 50 perfumes and only care to repurchase about three. That doesn't mean that I don't love the rest of them. I love them, but I'm gonna enjoy them while I have them. And after that, they've done their time. I think this, I'm definitely gonna have to try that in the summertime because it's, it's kind of playing up on my arm now. I sprayed it on my hand and it's like, I'm smelling it while I'm talking and waving my hands around. It's still not crazy, but it might be a very nice summer scent. So maybe it's because I've been wearing it in the winter. I thought it smelled deep enough to perform in the winter, but it hasn't done anything for me. I'm gonna try this as a nighttime fragrance for the summer. We're gonna try that, okay? And then I will update you guys and let you guys know. The rest I'm definitely gonna get rid of. I hope you liked catching up with me with a quick little video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked this video. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already and you keep watching my videos or even if this is the first time you've watched my video. And I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.